G'day everyone, we've got John and Aaron's Dual Cab Graphite 79 series here. We've just finished a build on this one. It's a really complete package. It's got all the gear you need for touring and we absolutely love how this one's turned out. Let's break it down and check out some of the upgrades and modifications. Okay, the starting platform for this one was the J-Max 4495 Super Chassis. And this is a lot more than just a GVM upgrade. It's a full vehicle package. So we start by stripping the rear end out of the car. We cut the factory chassis off just behind the cab and we weld on the J-Max Super Chassis. This chassis is much bigger and stronger. It converts it to coil springs rather than leaf springs. And it gives us a 300 mil chassis extension as well. Now this chassis has a built-in tow bar, a built-in rear winch cradle, and a built-in Brown Davis 185 litre long range tank. We correct the track with the widened axle as part of the package, full suspension upgrade, clutch upgrade, brake upgrade, and an exhaust system. John and Aaron have gone for the King remote res shocks, the torqued exhaust, the NPC clutch, and we've done a three inch lift on this one with our suspension package. For the brake upgrade, we've got braided brake lines, and then a Marks full drive hydro brake booster. For our wheel and tyre package on this one, we've started with the Method 312 HD. This is a heavy duty load rated rim in a 17 by nine with a negative 12 offset, which is perfect fitment for these 79s. These ones have been wrapped in the BF Goodridge KM3 mud terrain. Let's have a look at the bar work. Starting up the front, we've got the ARB Large Tube Deluxe Bar, which has been colour coded in the graphite to suit the vehicle. We've got a set of Ultravision 140 Max lights. We've got an ARB bash plate and recovery point underneath. And then we've fitted a worn VR Evo 12,000 pound winch with the Factor 55 Ultra Hook. The same winch and Ultra Hook has been fitted on the rear to pair it up so we've got 12,000 pounds front and rear. Moving on to the side, We've got the ARB Summit large tube side rail and step, which pairs up nicely with the large tube bar on the front. As with most of our cruiser builds, we've gone for the Safari Armac Snorkel. These are a fantastic Australian made product, four inch ram head all the way through, four inch intake into the airbox. John and Aaron have chosen to go for the next gen Clearview mirrors. These are the newer version. They're telescopic, so they sit in a little bit closer to the car when they're packed away, and they have a little bit more of a modern shape to them. On the roof, we've fitted the ARB base rack for a little bit of additional storage when required. Now, we're about halfway through the breakdown on this build. If you're enjoying what you're seeing, and you wanna see more of these breakdown videos, make sure you like the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and turn on the notification bell. Let's get through the rest of it. Under the bonnet, we've got a set of ARB breathers, which does front and rear diff, transfer case and gearbox. We've got a fuel filter and a catch can, the pre-line kit from Direction Plus and the Provent 200. We've put together a dual battery system consisting of an ARB battery tray with the Sentry AGM battery, a Red Arc BCDC charger. We've wired everything up for the customer's needs, including the rear winch, Anderson plug and a Red Arc Topro electric brake controller. Moving on to the interior, we've got a full set of black duck seat covers. We've got a child restraint behind the back seat. We've fitted up a full length storage console from Cruiser Consoles to match up with the roof console. We've also fitted in there the GME TX4500 paired up to the UHF aerial on the front. We've installed a pair of red arc gauges so that John and Aaron can monitor their boost, EGT, oil temperature and oil pressure. And then for our sound system, we've gone with the Alpine eight inch head unit reverse camera, a full set of Alpine Type R speakers, and the Cruiser Console speaker pods. To finish off this build, and really make it the complete package, John and Aaron have gone with a Norwell tray and canopy from the guys up at Cairns. 
This thing looks fantastic, especially with the color-coded doors. The tray and canopy package features a set of four under tray toolboxes. We've got the flared mud guards to suit the J-Max widened axle. We've got a relocated fuel filler. On the rear, we've got the maxi lamp tail lights. We've got a full pull-out rear drawer, spare tire mounts on the back, and a fold-down ladder to climb up onto the roof. Let's check out what's inside. Okay, on the driver's side, we've got a nice big shelf up the top for some storage, an open area with rubber matting to put some of your bigger gear, and then we've got one nice big pull-out drawer. So we've got lots of bulk storage on the driver's side, and mounted up on the front wall, we've got a big inverter to take care of all of our 240 volt requirements. On the passenger side, we've got a little bit more bulk storage up the back here. We've got a drawer here for some smaller items, and we've got our pull-out table as well. This features a map of Australia, which is a really nice finishing touch. We've got a spot here for our upright fridge, which will be installed to keep all the food and drinks cold. And then we have our full electrical panel on the front wall, featuring all of our fusing, circuit breaker, chargers, and our control screen to tell us what's going on. Both sides, we also feature a camp lighting, which has your option for white, yellow, or combination, as well as your brightness control. Well guys, that's about all for this one. As we mentioned, we're really happy with how this package has turned out. We know that John and Erin are gonna absolutely love it and they're gonna enjoy touring around in this beast. If you'd like to see more of these videos, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all of our latest builds. Thank you to John and Erin for choosing us to build your dream 4x4. I ran up a check, I might do it again. Enemies close, have me thinking they're friends. Ten toes down, I'll be free until the end. Crib outside the city, I don't feel safe in my hands. Took so many years, I'm just waiting for the wins. I'm in debt to no one but the one who took my sins. I do it for real, there's no reason to pretend. If I do it once, I do it again. Add it up, add it up, bank roll, bank roll, euro, euro, peso, peso, add it up, add it up. I'm just doing me, everything is on me, oh you matter what? Add it up, add it up, bank roll, bank roll, euro, euro, peso, peso, add it up. I'm just doing me, everything is on me, oh you matter what? Add it up, told her if it's all me, everything is on me, gon' back it up. Matter what? Told you I'ma do me, why you hating on me? It's not adding up. Roll like a Mack truck, country heart, I'm a cop a farm and go act up Lot of scars, I was cold hearted, now I'm backed up Keep it real, I do this once a month, I don't rap much I just take the money and go stack up Only buying Carhartt, car car till you tat it up All that other bull, it don't matter much You only climb me, I put the ladders up